The Unveiled History of Delaware, America's First State Welcome to the Untold Story of Delaware, America's First State, a place rich in history and legacy. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, uncovering the pivotal moments that shaped Delaware and its significance to the United States. 1. Early History 2. Colonial Delaware 3. Civil War Era The Early History of Delaware The Early History of Delaware, a small but significant state in the eastern United States, is a fascinating tapestry woven from the threads of Native American culture, European exploration, and colonial competition that predated the formation of the United States by over a century. Native American beginnings before European settlers set foot on what is now Delaware. The region was inhabited by various Native American tribes, with the Leni Lenape Delaware and the Nanticoke being the most prominent. These tribes were part of the Algonquian language family, living in semi-permanent settlements and practicing a mixture of agriculture, hunting, and fishing. The rich estuaries and rivers of the region provided abundant resources, allowing these communities to flourish. European Contact and Settlement The first recorded European exploration of Delaware was by Henry Hudson in 1609, under the flag of the Dutch East India Company. However, it was not until 1631 that the Dutch attempted to establish a permanent settlement named Zwanendijl, near present-day Lewis. This initial endeavor was short-lived, as the settlement was destroyed within a year by local Native American tribes in response to European aggressions. Following the Dutch, the Swedes made their mark on Delaware by establishing the colony of New Sweden in 1638, which included parts of modern-day Delaware, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. Fort Christina, now in Wilmington, Delaware became the first permanent European settlement in the Delaware Valley. The Swedes and Finns brought with them the log cabin, which became a symbol of the American frontier. Dutch and English control. The Dutch, under the leadership of Peter Stuyvesant, reclaimed the region from the Swedes in 1655, incorporating it into the colony of New Netherland. However, this Dutch control was to be short-lived. The English seized New Netherland in 1664, and Delaware became part of the English colonies in America. The region was governed as part of Pennsylvania, under a lease to William Penn, the Quaker proprietor of Pennsylvania, who sought to expand his Quaker colony and ensure access to the sea, the path to a separate colony. Despite being governed as part of Pennsylvania, the settlers in Delaware pushed for autonomy due to geographic, cultural, and political differences. This culminated in a separate assembly being granted to the three lower counties on the Delaware in 1704, allowing them some degree of self-governance, although they shared a governor with Pennsylvania until the time of the American Revolution. So, the early history of Delaware is marked by a series of complex interactions among Native American tribes, European powers, and colonial settlers, each vying for control and influence in the New World. These interactions laid the groundwork for the development of Delaware as a distinct entity within the American colonial framework, leading to its eventual status as the first state to ratify the United States Constitution in 1787. This rich early history set the stage for Delaware's role in the broader story of the United States, reflecting themes of conflict, cooperation, and the pursuit of autonomy and identity. 2. Colonial Delaware Colonial Delaware played a significant role in the tapestry of American history serving as a crucial point of interaction among Native Americans, European settlers, and later, as a key participant in the struggle for American independence. This period, 
spanning from the early 17th century until the American Revolution in the late 18th century, was marked by dynamic changes, economic development, and cultural exchanges that would define the future state and its identity within the burgeoning United States, European settlement and control Dutch, beginnings the colonial history of Delaware begins with the Dutch, who, under the auspices of the Dutch West India Company, established the Zwanendijl colony in 1631, near present-day Lewis. This endeavor, though short-lived due to conflicts with local Native American tribes, marked the start of European interest in the region, Swedish settlement. The most enduring European influence came from the Swedes, with the establishment of New Sweden in 1638. Fort Christina, named in honor of Queen Christina of Sweden and located in what is now Wilmington, became the first permanent European settlement in the Delaware Valley. The Swedes introduced the log cabin, which became synonymous with American frontier life and established a peaceful relationship with the local Native American tribes, Dutch reconquest and English acquisition. The Dutch, seeking to reassert control over their lost territory, recaptured the area in 1655, integrating it into New Netherland. However, this control was short-lived. In 1664, the English seized New Netherland, and Delaware became part of the English colonies, initially governed under the Duke of York, and later coming under the jurisdiction of William Penn and the Pennsylvania colony, life in colonial Delaware. Colonial Delaware developed a mixed economy that included agriculture, trade, and industry. Its position along the Delaware River facilitated trade and interaction with other colonies and with the indigenous populations. The fertile land in the region was ideal for farming. Tobacco, wheat, and corn became staple crops. Additionally, the presence of iron ore led to the establishment of a modest but significant iron industry. Autonomy and Governance Despite being governed as part of Pennsylvania, the three lower counties on Delaware, present-day Delaware, sought greater autonomy, reflecting their unique geographic and economic conditions. This desire for self-governance was partially realized in 1704, when the lower counties were granted their own assembly, though they continued to share a governor with Pennsylvania until independence, social and cultural development. The colonial period saw a diverse influx of settlers in Delaware, including Swedes, Finns, Dutch, English, Irish and Scots-Irish, contributing to a multicultural society. This diversity influenced the religious landscape, with significant Quaker, Presbyterian and Lutheran communities establishing deep roots in the region. The relationship between European settlers and Native Americans in Delaware was complex, marked by periods of trade, cooperation, and conflict. Over time, many Native Americans were displaced due to settlement expansion, warfare, and disease brought by Europeans. The Road to Revolution By the mid-18th century, Delaware, like its colonial counterparts, began to chafe under British rule. The imposition of taxes without representation and other grievances led to increasing unrest. Delaware's strategic location and economic significance made it a focal point of revolutionary activity. When the Continental Congress declared independence in 1776, Delaware joined the 13 colonies in rebellion, contributing troops and leaders to the cause. Colonial Delaware's history is a story of diversity, adaptation, and the quest for identity and autonomy. The region's transformation from a contested European outpost to a thriving colonial society laid the groundwork for its pivotal role in the formation of the United States. As the first state to ratify the U.S. Constitution, Delaware's colonial legacy is a testament to its significance in American history, reflecting themes of resilience, 
cultural diversity and the pursuit of freedom and governance that would shape the nation's future. 3. Civil War Era During the Civil War Era, Delaware found itself in a unique and often precarious position as a border state with divided loyalties. Despite being a slave state, Delaware remained loyal to the Union, reflecting the complex interplay of economic interests, political affiliations, and societal values that characterize the state and the nation during this tumultuous period. Slavery and Societal Divisions In 1860, Delaware was home to a relatively small number of enslaved individuals compared to the Deep South, with slavery more prevalent in the rural southern counties than in the industrialized North. This geographical and economic divide contributed to the state's mixed views on secession and slavery. Many Delawareans, particularly those in the northern industrial and urban areas, supported the Union and opposed secession. While some in the more rural southern parts of the state harbored Confederate sympathies, Delaware's role in the Union. Despite the societal divisions over slavery, Delaware's strategic location near Philadelphia and along key transportation routes made it vital to the Union's war effort. The state served as a passage for troops and supplies throughout the conflict. Delaware also contributed significantly to the Union Army, with several thousand men from the state enlisting to fight in the war, despite the state's small population. Legislative stance on slavery, Delaware's legislature resisted President Abraham Lincoln's push for compensated emancipation, choosing instead to maintain the institution of slavery through the war. However, the number of enslaved people in Delaware continued to decline. As many enslaved individuals escaped to freedom in the North or were emancipated by their owners. Slavery in Delaware finally ended with the ratification of the 13th Amendment in December 1865, which abolished slavery throughout the United States, post-war effects and legacy. The Civil War's end brought significant economic and social changes to Delaware. The war accelerated the state's transition from an agriculture-based economy to one focused on industry, particularly in the northern regions. The post-war era also saw the slow progress of civil rights for African Americans. Though full equality remained elusive, mirroring the broader national struggle during Reconstructions. The Civil War era in Delaware highlights the state's internal conflicts and its crucial role in the Union's victory. Delaware's experience during this period reflects the broader American dilemma of a nation divided over slavery and state rights, set against the backdrop of loyalty and the fight for unity. The legacy of this era, including the gradual end of slavery and the shift toward industrialization, would significantly shape Delaware's future development and its place in the American narrative. Modern Delaware. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, has evolved into a significant hub for business, financing, and industry, leveraging its strategic location and favorable corporate laws. The state's economic landscape is heavily influenced by the presence of major corporations, particularly credit card companies and banks, drawn by Delaware's business-friendly tax structure and the Court of Chancery. Renowned for its expertise in corporate law, this focus on corporate and financial services has propelled Delaware to a position of economic significance disproportionate to its small size. Additionally, Delaware continues to honor its historical roots in agriculture and manufacturing. Though these sectors now share the stage with biotechnology, healthcare, and education as pillars of the state's economy. Delaware, the first state to ratify the United States Constitution, 
holds a unique place in American history, embodying a microcosm of the broader national narrative. From its early colonial days, marked by diverse European claims and a mix of cultures, to its pivotal role in the founding of the nation and its complex position during the Civil War, Delaware's story is one of contradiction, resilience, and transition. Its journey through industrialization and into modern challenges reflects the evolving American identity. Delaware's contributions to political, economic, and social transformations in the United States underscore its significance beyond its small geographical size, embodying the spirit of innovation, determination, and unity that characterizes the nation.